What's up guys, it's Wholesome Joe back with another how to build a 3D printed proton pack tutorial. This time, this is a short one. I'm going to be showing you how to make the cyclotron lenses the low budget way. So let's get right into it. I printed out one of the Q packs uh, cyclotron lenses. I uh, scaled it so it was only really, really thin, so it wouldn't take very long to print because the only thing I'm gonna use this for is to draw a pattern. Um, you can print this in resin. You can print it in clear resin and dye the resin red if you want. You can print it in red translucent resin if you want, or you can do what I'm gonna do. So this entire build, as I've gone, as I've gone along, is now going to be kind of budget. Meaning if I can do something where I can make it myself or I can do it for really cheap, I'm gonna do it for really cheap because I think you can make a really good looking proton pack that's pretty close to screen accurate without spending $2,000. So there's a lot of our tutorials already about how to do like the most screen accurate, most expensive, you know, whatever. So this is gonna be a 3D printed proton pack where we do things cost effectively that still look good. Okay, so trust me on this. I've done this before. I know that I know that it looks good. You're gonna be surprised when you see what it looks like. So we're gonna take this, and we're also gonna take a piece of clear plastic. This one's kind of dirty, but we're gonna clean it, so no worries. Um, this came from my wife's model horse. She collects Briar toy horses. Um, and I usually use these as for power, for the visors to Power Ranger helmets, but it will work really well for this too. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clear plastic, we're going to take the our disc, and I'm going to take a red Sharpie, since these are gonna be red, and just draw out the shape like so. It doesn't matter if it's exactly perfect because you're just gonna cut these out. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna do three more of them. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's particularly perfect. Perfect. Right, then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw four more. Use a different color. Now we'll cut them out with some scissors. frosted glass, clear, transparent, semi-transparent. So for this, I'm using this testers red translucent spray enamel. I've had this for a long time, so the can is kind of shot. But there's still a lot in there. And now we have our set of red transparent lenses. We also have a set of frosted lenses. We're just going to basically sandwich those together inside the pack and this is what it looks like. It's pretty good. Basically the frosted lens is kind of 
provide some diffusion. You're going to want to put the red lenses up against the actual cyclotron, and then you'll put the frosted lenses behind the red. And there you have it. There you have it. That's how I make my Ghostbusters Proton Pack cyclotron lenses. I find that it's a really easy method to use. The materials are readily available and it's cheap, which is super important to me. It might be super important to you. There's other ways to do it. You can buy them from places like GB Fans. You can print them in resin or you can buy them on Etsy already made if that floats your boat. But this is the way I've chosen to do it. If you decide to do this method for your proton pack, let me know in the comments. Again, we have more tutorial videos coming. This whole series is starting to get kind of near the end. I'm starting a ghost trap tutorial very soon, so keep an eye out for that. If you like the content that I've been making, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, hit the subscribe, so you don't miss out on all the updates. Until next time.